So first of all, um, it has been a great pleasure for the Council of International Students Australia uh, to be part of the Australian International Education Conference 2014. This is actually the fourth year they were involved in this uh, national platform where international students connect uh, with different stakeholders, decision makers, government representatives, uh, and also a wide range of key people uh, who are playing a key role uh, in shaping the future of the international education sector. Just put it in short, it's important for us to understand who is who in the zoo um, and so that we can function better uh, as an advocacy body for international students. Uh, of course, no doubt, by having an opportunity to be here, it also showcased the fact that international education sector in Australia have a platform and have uh, and opportunities for international student voice to be heard and we are very glad uh, that we have the support and recognition from the sector uh, through the leadership of uh, International Education Association of Australia uh, and also uh, other peak bodies in the international education sector and so that we can constantly engage with discussions and also uh, advocacy work that matters for international students. So one thing that uh, we have seen for the last few days is uh, a range of speeches and presentations by different key people but it is a little bit disappointed uh, to the fact that uh, the education minister in Australia, Minister Pines speech actually failed uh, to mention the importance of engaging with students as part of the stakeholders groups. Uh, we've seen business community being engaged, uh, we've seen uh, the international education sector and the peak bodies were being engaged but I, I would hope to see also from a council's perspective is that student voice uh, and students is constantly being engaged uh, as what we have done over the last few years. Otherwise, everything will go back to International Education 101. And it is very important for the sector uh, to know about that and the sector understands that. So we hope that this message can be once again reiterated uh, to the ministers and to the government, not just the federal government, but also state government and local government as well.